What is up everybody? Happy Thursday, March 19th. I've been getting a few questions that I wanted to answer. Two questions actually. One, can you get the coronavirus twice? And then two, if you get it, does it cause permanent severe lung damage? So I've been asked that and I want to answer that from what I understand. So first and foremost, I don't think that you can get the coronavirus twice. And the reason is because of how the human body and the immune system operates. When you get a flu or a virus or a bacteria or a cold, your body creates these antibodies, which is a specific code for a specific virus. And whenever your body encounters that exact code again, it goes, hey, I've already seen this. Let me send out that group of, of attackers to go kill that flu or virus or bacteria. Now, what could be happening if anybody uh, thinks that they read an article about one person who got it twice, they could have not actually had the coronavirus the first time, the testing could have been wrong, or the strain could have changed, or they just had the normal flu. There's a lot of different things. So unless the flu changes or alters the code, then you are not able to get it twice. So that's the only way, which is just like the flu season every year. A person will get the flu every year. Why? Because the flu isn't the same. So there's that. Now, if you get the coronavirus, does that mean that you will have permanent damage to your lungs afterwards? Uh, and the answer is no, only for the people that have it severely or critically. And what happens is uh, it's called uh, ARDS, which is Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. When that happens, so those are the people that have poor immune systems. And what happens is if you're young or if you have a healthy, strong immune system, even if you get the coronavirus, your immune system is strong enough to fight it off enough to not allow it to get critical. Um, the people that don't have a good immune system or are uh, have pre-existing conditions, lung conditions, heart conditions, poor immune systems, or just over the age of 70, um, they can have a tougher time. And what can happen is it causes your immune system to attack your own lung cells, which then causes uh, increase of the fluid in the lungs, which then after you get over the coronavirus can make it a bit more difficult to breathe. So that is what that report is. So don't think that if you get it or a friend has it that, oh my God, they're not going to be able to breathe for the rest of their life. You know, just understand that it's not a broad, uh, a broad statement that applies to everybody. So I hope that helps to calm some fears and to give you guys a bit more information. And I will keep posting this stuff. In the meantime, stay healthy. And the best thing you can do is to boost your immune system. So even if you do get coronavirus, it'll be strong enough to not allow it to be severe or critical. So take care of yourself and uh, stay healthy, guys. All right, thanks.